Hey everyone, James here in the Nerd Room, back with a brand new Marvel Legends, Marvel Studios, first 10 years figure set review. So, today, as you can see, we are doing the uh, two-pack from Ant-Man, with Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. Now, this set I saw probably the first week it was out, and I haven't seen it since. I just figured it was one of those sets, you know, I get put off and put off and put off, so I saw it again. So, obviously, if you saw my previous hunt video, I saw it, so I grabbed it. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna do the usual stuff, and we're gonna do what I call a tale of two ruts, or two man managers, say. So we can do a compare video with that. So it should be pretty cool, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so this is the uh, Ant Man first ten years box. Really cool looking, obviously. Uh, has all the features of the other Studio of Ten figures, for design wise, anyways. So uh, take a look at the end at the window box, shall we? Uh, Clearly you see Ant-Man and uh, the Paul Rudd head on the left. A couple of very tiny figures, we'll talk about those later. And a yellow jacket. So you look at the side. Artwork from the movie, of course, that goes along with the Build-A Puzzle. Uh, I'm going to take a second and read the text. Please go on ahead. Nice uh, Ant-Man picture right there, poster design. More text on the side, you want to read that. Back to the front, you have that nice uh, Marvel Studios on the top. Really cool. I dig that a lot. Uh, and uh, Studios on the top. Ant-Man on the bottom. Legends on the right corner. Figures right there. And the figures in the window display. So, let's uh, stop talking about the box. Take the figures out and uh, we'll talk to Yellow Jacket before we talk Ant-Man, shall we? Okay, so this is the Yellow Jacket, the villain of the Ant-Man movie, and a very cool looking figure, very cool design. And he comes with a very uh, fragile uh, little version of himself, obviously, but so you might want to be careful, you know, and he's so small you might lose him. He is, uh, yeah, he's so small. Anyway, let's talk to Yellow Jacket, shall we? Very cool design, obviously. I dig that the lenses, the lenses are translucent. Uh, let's talk about the tendrils and the tentacles. They are fully articulated, so you have to, that's pretty cool. So we'll probably see about exploring those during the uh, posing, I guess. Otherwise, obviously you gotta love the black versus yellow aesthetic of the figure, right? I do wish he came in with the alternate head, but what are you gonna do, right? Don't need to see the figure. He's not Paul Rudd. So, uh, yeah. Doesn't really have anything for him, just a fist and a hand, and uh, I forgot to mention that the back comes off, so that's pretty cool. Even though primarily he uses it just for flight, so, and all he does is fly. So anyways, uh, let's talk articulation, so his head goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around, little, uh, little side to side, a little bit, his arm goes up that high, all the way around. Rotation of bicep per usual. Uh, double joint at the double joint at the elbow. Uh, wrist rotation and back and forth. Uh, diaphragm goes back that far, goes forward that far. Rotation at the waist. Legs go apart that far. Legs go forward and back that far. Thigh rotation. Double joint at the knee. No calf rotation, but he has crazy ankle pivot and forward and back on it. So, uh, yeah, pretty solid figure. Uh, take a break from him and we'll uh, talk the uh, Ant Man figure. So, this is the Ant Man figure. Very cool looking. Des obviously, design taken from the original movie. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, as I said with the previous Ant Man figure, I dig the red and the black aesthetic, dig the crazy helmet. So the antenna it's probably in the box too long yeah it's coming out anyways uh i love the uh silver black red contrast all throughout the figure very cool very you know more you a utilitarian suit than anything not so much for design but more for use and let's talk what he comes with so he comes with a very tiny uh ant-man too oh so, yeah might want to keep him in a safe place if you're going to do a display, or maybe not put him on display at all so he doesn't get lost. And he comes with another Paul Rudd head. Which, you know, very cool. So, obviously it's not like the very original Ant-Man design which came with the open mouth. But anyways, uh, 
We'll put the head on later when we do a comparison. But let's talk articulation. So uh, there, uh, his head goes back that far, goes forward that far, goes all the way around. Yeah, by the way, a yeah, nice, I like the helmet design, very cool, obviously. Uh, arm goes up that high, but it goes all the way around. Rotate at the bicep, double joint on the elbow, uh, rotation and back and forth on the wrist. Back goes back that far, goes forward that far, rotation to waist. So legs go apart that far, go forward and back that far in a split. Thigh rotation, double joint at the knee, no calf rotation, but he has a nice amount of angle pivot and forward and back on the angle. So, um, there you go. Uh, nice design on the out, nice uh, screen accuracy on it. So, uh, if we can him stand up, we can uh, possibly do some uh, figure posing with the uh, yellow jacket. What do you guys say? All right, for my first pose, I decided to have him running away from yellow jacket just because right off the bat, he's not a hero. So, yeah. Hate me if you want, but, you know, just thought that's what I wanted to try. And here, I just have him saying, oh, I'm the hero of the movie, so let me go attack him. So, so we a lot of these uh, mid-air fighting poses just because pretty much more often that's what they do through, like, one of the big scenes in the movie. Now we're going to go with the shoddy camera work and, uh, Show you guys that I actually put him in a uh, like a mid-air type of fight. I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? You guys want to see more of these uh, like mid-air fight poses? If I can make it happen, let me know in the comments below. All right, so we have both suits here: the uh, Studio Ten on the left and the uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp on the right. As you can see, uh, the one on the right has more color, a little more detail to it less silver a little bulkier more I guess more for battle or whatever and like the the first one looks more like it's just a science experiment the wants to stand up doesn't really want to but for some reason they, they like falling over but yeah anyways you can see it's more refined updated obviously Try to take some kinks out of it, even though if you've seen the movie, you know what that suit does. So let's get to the main attraction. And yeah, each figure, as I said, comes with a Paul Rudd head. The uh, the uh, Studios one is a little more serious. And if you've seen the other one, he's got a little smirk on it. I like the smirk a little bit better than the, the other one, just because it shows more of a Paul Rudd attitude, I think. And yeah, well, but you know. It is what it is. Different strokes for different folks. Okay, so while I rather like love the set, that's not without its complaints. Um, Ant Man is surprisingly back heavy. Um, his thigh joints aren't really that cooperative when you try to get him in an extreme pose. But otherwise, I do dig these figures. Uh, Yellow Jacket got no complaints there. Just except that I wish he had extra head. I wish they both had extra hands, but it is what it is, right? And, uh, you know, I like, you know, completing a set, besides, you know, the fact that these figures are fantastic to look at, great design, and I love the fact that, you know, they gave him a new head, as opposed to the old uh, Ant-Man figure head with just a, with the, mouth, the mouth open. But, yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, so, if you're an MCU collector, obviously, like me, or the uh, Studio 10, you're going to get this. But if, you know, you're not an Ant-Man fan, eh? You don't need it. You don't need it for your collection. But you know, I dig it. I liked it a lot. I got no complaints. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate your comments. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys liking. So you know, if you like this video, and I really hope you guys do. Please hit that like button. I'd really dig it a lot. Um, if you know you want to, you know, show my video to say to somebody, please share a video. Let them know that this channel is out there. I got a new subscriber in the past couple days. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd really dig that support too. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. And uh, we'll see you on the next review.